7 a.m. for the PHL New Year's Report on this Thursday afternoon, October 29, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm doing is on your 12 noon news and lines there. Top story at noon time on this Thursday afternoon here is. Marco Rubio was already cruising to a breakout performance in the latest GOP presidential debate when an attack from Donald Trump opened up more airtime for him to respond according to the evening's format. Representative Paul Ryan of Wisconsin was elected to the 62nd Speaker of the House on Thursday, talking to the gavel that he never sought the wheel from Johnny Boehner, who would have it under fire. Beijing. China said it would have ended its controversial one child policy on Thursday and allow all couples who have two children in. Frankly, ended its biggest population control experiment in history and permit growing pressures from a rapidly aging population. Washington. U.S. economic growth rate sharply in its third quarter as business cut back on restocking the warehouse at the work off in inventory cut, but saw the Mets the demand could encourage the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates in December. The Miami Marlins have hired Don Melanie to be the new expansion according to multiple media sources. In Albuquerque, Mexico, City Morning Officer Daniel Webster's death was shot during an October train for a traffic stop. In Lexington, police said that Joseph S. Derrick Elmery School in Grove Street was back here after people felt a jolt in the building. Athens, an extensive search was underway off a Greek island on Thursday for at least 34 people missing after their boat sank when one of the largest maritime disasters since the massive refugee influx. The end this year. Russell, Saudi blogger, right by the way, was sentenced to 1,000 lashes and 10 years in jail for insulting Islam for cybercrime and was awarded the European Union's Prize for Human Rights and Freedom of thought on Thursday. Vienna, the United States said on Thursday that it hopes a new round of international talks in Syria's civil war would clarify whether Tehran and Moscow could eventually accept the new leadership in Damascus, as senior U.S. said. Amnesty International has accused Australian border protection officials of legally paying people smugglers and endangering lives in a bid to prevent boats of asylum seekers reaching the country. A massive man a Kentucky rapist accused of shooting at cops in Tuesday entered the sixth day of surgery with officials saying they cut two of his associates. Cable news channels and Twitter were captivated on Wednesday by an army clip that broke its tether in Aberdeen, Maryland, through the food. Pennsylvania. Author Andrews cashed in over half a million pennies that he collected over the past 45 years, filling 15 five gallon jugs. Portland, Oregon, a copywriter clip that delayed about 20 Alaska Airlines flights was resolved early Thursday. The airline said as late Wednesday night, several computer systems ran into technical problems, including programs for faster check, check in. Botox maker, Eller Ginn. LC and Pfizer Incorporated on Thursday created a firm that they were in a friendly talks on a potential merger of the deal that would create the world's largest drug maker. Contracts and into the purchase previously owned U.S. homes and especially fell in September in Vidas. Most since the end of 2013 indicated that the residential real estate market is cooling from its recent brisk pace. Application by unemployment benefit for the U.S. were change, little change last week, however, and close to four decade lows and shown steady progress in the labor market. Frankfurt, Germany. Volkswagen says it's sticking with in planned investments at its plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee, including production of a new SUV there. It's kind of like walking straight in an electrical fence or getting shot with a stun gun. That's how one ballot describes the experience of getting zapped by an electric eel. Sources of leading scientists on what they urge to create a major initiative to better understand the microbial community's critical to both human health and the ecosystem. Astronomers have detected a group of young stars in the center of a galaxy glass region long thought to be the populated with older stars. The Rosetta spacecraft has detected a molecule of oxygen in the gas streaming off common 67 feet. Chairman of Grace Gameplay of Curry's finding that has scientists been thinking of ingredients that were present in the early solar system. Single, divorced, and widowed people have a 40% greater chance of dying out of development of new disability and surgery than married people. For decades, breast cancer has been the lace coming in black women and then white women yet killed black women at higher rates. One of those gaps has finally closed. Everyone assumes that it is the result of obesity that pandemic too many can use in, too few are children and adults are getting fat, so they are getting sick. A new study conducted by researchers at the University of Montreal suggested singing requiring babies more soothing than baby talk, according to the study. And now we'll hear Suck Report at 1204 here. The now so far, down 52%. Down 50 points, 70 points are close at 70,000, 74. SP 5 down 2 points, 79 points are close at 2,087 points, 56. And NASDAQ 5,079.05, down 17.28 points. European markets here, DEX 10,773.32, down 58.64 points. FTSC 6381.60, down 56.28 points. 
Say it's 40, 48, 6, 7, 94. That's 22.64 points. Nikkei, 89, 35.71 up 32.69 points. Shanghai, 33, 8, 107 up 12.87 points. Here. HSI, 22, 8, 19.94, down 136.63 points. Four markets, 46.16, up 22 cents. Brent, 49.11, up 6 cents. And Natural Gas, 2.339, up 41,000 points. Gold, 11.15, down 26.10 points. Silver, 15.575, down 718,000 points. Copper, 2.3315, down 31,000 points. Bonds, U.S. 10-year, 2.1581%, up 66,000 points. German 10-year, 0.536%, up 92,000 points. And Germany's 10 euro 0.295% down 5,000 points. FX bonds, European US dollar 1.0964 up 43,000 points. US dollar Germany is in 1.0009 up 300,000 points. And Great Britain pound, US dollar 1.5297 up 37,000 points. Commodity is there. Wheat, 5, 15 and 3 quarters, up 9 and 3 quarters. Swimming, 8, 8 and a half, down 2 and a quarter. Corn, 3, 7 and 9 and 3 quarters, up 3 and 3 quarters here. Sugar, 14.68, up 3 cents. Coffee, 119.20, up 10 cents. Cotton, 62.39, down 28 cents. Red price, 11.665, down 2,000, 200 dollars a point. And cocoa, 3,231, up 12 cents. Live cattle, 142.70, down 9 cents. Lean on, 60.25, down 1.15. And FT cattle, 191.575, down 675,000 points. Neighbors playing drugs, plus social scenarios, increased violence after shooting in a Manchester, New Hampshire park. Here, General News on 1206 for Outs. Spots reporter where the New England Patriots will be taking on the Miami Dolphins tonight, 825 p.m. at Gillette Stadium, while the North Lancers boys soccer team will be taking on the Westwood Wolverines at non High School, game time, 6.30 p.m. And 7 o'clock here. And the North Lancers. Girls soccer team will need one win tonight against the Westwood Wolverines at Westwood here. Minnesota's call Anthony Towns as a very solid NBA debut against the Lakers. Boston, there's no illusions about the bench of fill up a 76 as firm as they are. And then knowledge that the determines that Senate's like will elect from last year's 18 win team or the 19 games they won the previous season. At a time when the Dallas Cowboys are growing increasingly concerned about Joseph Randall, the Dallas running back is facing discipline for violating the NFL's personal conduct policy, according to multiple league sources. Same board, Maria Shabobo reached the semifinals in the WTA Finals and set U.S. Open champion Flavia Panetta into retirement by beating the Italian 7 5 6 1 on Thursday. Perry Challenge News Times, now 12 08, time now for Trevor Report on this. Thursday afternoon. And it's Bill Sand and I was in my way to New England here and some slow spots here. Mass bike gear on the West Bend side, slow over the Prudent Tunnel here. 93 in the southbound side, then next around exit 37C before Route 120 in Red in here. Route 1 in the north, southbound side, slow over Route 2 in North Kingstown to Route 1 near. Today in the westbound side, connected after Route 9 in Worcester here. 195 in the southbound side, slow before Route 2 in Littleton here. And 295 in the northbound side, we get an accident here. In Yarmouth near Route 88, so expect some delays here. And uh, family spirit remains here by Colosso after 295. But otherwise, a smooth sailing community on this. Thursday afternoon, highways and byways in New England near. Okay, let's take a look at MBTA alerts here. Red line experience minor laser to disable train in nail white. Red line experience minor laser to signal problems at the Ashmont area here. Still on SL5 experience minor laser to traffic here. Come, meter rail. Looking good and on a fairy day, looking good. Here, Channel News on 409. Coming up for a weather report on this. Thursday afternoon. Right now, current edition is here, 71 degrees, uh, 
Step two, both guys got three the day, 71%, wind speed, southwest by 12, gusts at 18 miles, at barometer, train number 55 minutes, just do about 600 degrees, and visibly 10 miles. It's kind of like a taste of spring and summer, then in fall. Here, yes, take a look at our current conditions, man. In the region here, 72 degrees in Boston and in Pittsburgh, 71 in Bedford, 70 in Beverly, and in Lawrence, 67 degrees in Gloucester, 66 degrees in Worcester, and Sturbridge, 68 in Milford, 71 in Norwood, 71 in Taunton, 68 in Bedford, and Family fits 70 degrees in. in Plymouth, 64 in Parmesan, 61 in Chatham, 66 in Marfa's Vineyard, 64 in Nantucket, it's 70 degrees in Smithfield in the Parma Nantucket, 66 degrees in Wesley, and in Blockon, 67 in Montauk, 69 in Islip, 68 degrees in New York City, 66 in Bridgeport, 70 in New Haven, it's 67 in Danbury, 64 in Waterbury, 69 in Meriden, 70 in Northford, 71 in Winslow, 69 in Springfield, 66 degrees in Greenfield, 69 in Nantucket, 66 degrees in Northampton, it's 64 in Pittsfield, 69 degrees in Albany, 64 in Central Springs, 64 degrees in Relative Vermont, 68 degrees in Maine, 63 degrees in Belvoir Vermont, it's 69 degrees in Keene Hampshire, 67 degrees in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 68 degrees in Keene Hampshire, 69 degrees out in Chapman, Hampshire, 71 degrees in National Hampshire, 70 degrees in Manchester, Hampshire, 71 degrees in Congress, Hampshire, 60 degrees in Lacorne, Hampshire, 70 degrees in Portland, Hampshire, and 64 degrees in Portland, New Hampshire, Portland, Maine, here. Take a look at our current conditions man in the country here. Stacy Friend from Alberta, stretching down for the Rockies and down towards western Texas and Oklahoma. Merge with cold front from northwestern Arkansas. Stretching up to Missouri here. And another Stacy Front from northwestern Mexico down for southern Texas. Merge with cold front off the Texas coast. Stretching in Louisiana and up in Alabama. Merge with Stacy Front from Tennessee. Down for eastern Kentucky up to West Virginia and up to western Pennsylvania here. A cold front from the Carolinas, stretching up and up state New York, with a warm front from northern New England and at the sea here. And a pink front from southern Quebec and up to southern Ontario, with low pressure right here in Ontario here. A front of from western Wyoming, named for Utah. Another front of with a low pressure down from New Mexico here. A front of from southwestern Arizona, named for the Gulf of California, with a low pressure in southwestern Arizona. And a front of from west Wyoming to Utah. And a front of east of San Francisco, named for the California coast here. With some low pressure in northeast of Mexico and north central Alabama. And High pressure centers in Nebraska, southwestern Oregon, eastern Texas. 42 degrees out of Texas, Iowa, Detroit, 54 in Pittsburgh, 71 degrees out in Washington, D.C., 66 degrees in Atlanta, 83 in Miami, 80 in Brownsville, Texas, at 64 degrees in Dallas, Texas, 41 degrees in Kansas State, 40 in Omaha, Nebraska, and Chicago, Illinois, 45 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 42 in Great Falls, Montana, it's 54 in Seattle, 57 in San Francisco, here, 62 degrees in Las Vegas, 49 in Salt Lake City, Utah, 40 in Denver, Colorado, 40 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 68 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona, here, and Los Angeles has 72 degrees here. Okay, looking at current conditions, right? Looking at the radar, and it shows a line of rain shots off the Cape New Islands here. And we're seeing a line of rain showers from off the Jersey Shore and stretching all the way out to Nova Scotia and stretching around eastern New Brunswick here. And a line of rain showers from the mid Maine coast stretching in west of Bangor and stretching around the southeastern Maine area and then up in New Brunswick here and now from Nova Scotia here. And seeing some spotty rain showers in west central portions of the Rancher and a line of rain showers up in the Dolphin, Worcester County around Gardner and Fitchburg here. And a line of rain showers from I ate some from Poughkeepsie for Albany up in the Soda Springs and up in Vermont from Montpelier up in the Burlington and all that rain shots from East Utica stretching up to upstate New York up in the Quebec raining around the Montreal area and a lot of rain shots around southeastern Quebec here. As we're seeing some rain sleeting snow showers around Newfoundland here and a lot of rain showers here from western Quebec stretching into Ontario and some spotty sleeting snow showers around east central portions of Ontario and a line of rain showers around Minneapolis there and searching out for southeastern Minnesota and the northeastern Iowa and some spotty rain showers in the north central and west central portions of Illinois here and a line of rain showers in the northwestern portions of Wisconsin. A line of rain and sleet of snow showers for southwestern and north central and northeastern portions of Michigan near. A line of rain showers in western Carolina is there and a line of rain showers in the southwestern portions of Florida down for western Cuba and a line of rain showers off the Florida eastern Florida Atlantic coast there. And some spotty rain shots in the north central portion of Mexico, stretching in Arizona, New Mexico, and up in Utah, and 
Western portions of the car and some spotty rain, sleet, or snow showers, and stuff, eastern portions of I don't know, some spotty snow, sleet, and rain showers in west central portions of Montana and a lot of rain showers in the northwest portions of Oregon and up in the west central portions of Washington State, some sleet and snow showers around the western Washington State mountains here and some spotty rain, sleet, and snow showers in the southeastern portions of British Columbia, some spotty rain showers in the southeastern portions of southwestern portions of Alberta and some spotty snow, sleet, and rain showers from east central. Albert, East of Edmonton, searching in the northwestern portions of Saskatchewan. Here. And some spotty rain shots in the southeastern portions of Alaska. Here. Okay, let's take a look at our satellite loop here. And shows on clouds coming in much of Ontario, stretching around Michigan, and a line of clouds from Quebec, stretching down eastern New York, and the Appalachians here, and a line of clouds coming in much of the mid south region around western Canada, northern Georgia, and North central portion of Alabama here. And then on the rain, the line across central Mexico stretching off the Mexican coast here. And the line across coming to much of Puerto Corner region stretching up in the Rockies and stretching on the Nevada here. And the line across from Idaho, Eastern Oregon, and Washington State stretching from British coming down for Albert coming much of Saskatchewan and Patrick Clouds around in the Dakotas up in Minnesota and the southwestern portions of Ontario here. And nothing moving in the tropics here. And we're going to take a look at our forecast discussion here. Me and dry, and it's easily warm with just a few pleasant showers a day. It's right with much cooler weather around Friday as high pressure. We'll provide dry and chilly weather Friday night and Saturday night. High pools up close to Sunday along for milder temperatures and perhaps a few brief rain shots, but a washout is not expected as much as the day will be dry. Main dry weather conditions by the middle of the next week, but I covered them well above normal temperatures here as near term until 6 p.m. this evening, 9 p.m. update. Wind gusts continue to drop across the Cape and the Islands, therefore, it's decided to drop the wind boundary. You still could see a few gusts between 20 and 30 miles an hour, for as hopefully the convection continues to move over the eastern waters. The secondary wind boundary did move, but bring some scattered showers across. Eastern Massachusetts, but that has diminished as latest satellite imagery shows that clouds are breaking in and the sun is poking out across the ports of the deer, which it does here. As continue to clean up the forecast of the camp for current conditions, but otherwise, the bulk of the forecast remains direct for the rest of the day as seven day forecast goes like this for tonight. For today, most clouds got earlier than we come in the sky, about 73 degrees and southwest about 11 miles an hour with a gust high is 26 miles an hour here. Tank, most gusts got about 42 degrees and west about 9 11 miles gust high is 24 miles an hour here. Friday, South Carolina is about 57 degrees, West was about 6 to 11 miles an hour. Friday night, Clues Carolina is about 29 degrees, North West about 5 miles coming coming in the near. Saturday, South Carolina is about 32 degrees, a lot of variable wind coming in the southwest around 6 miles an hour in the afternoon here. So, and, most of South Carolina is about 42 degrees. Sunday, Chester Child is between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Most of South Carolina is about 58 degrees and Chester Bay to 30%. Saturday night, most of South Carolina is about 45 degrees. Monday, most of South Carolina is about 61 degrees. Monday night, Park South Carolina is about 42 degrees. Today, most of the podcast got about 62 to about 42 degrees, and on Wednesday, size got about 600 degrees. Here's what a phrase of the day. Terrific, first thing short, and Friday, back to fall like Friday. Here's here. Have a good afternoon and good positive to the 3 o'clock for 3 o'clock report. Have a good afternoon here.